<laughs> you people from London are the most honest people in the world. We are not a bunch of... What was that? That was very rude. I said we from people from... Oh, never mind. <laughs> okay, everybody clapping like this? Can you speed it up, guys? You can't jump that slowly. Even quicker. Quicker than that. By now, most audiences are jumping up and down in the air and cheering. Oh, good job, guys. Good job. See if you can spot. See if you can spot the subtle difference here. Anybody see the difference? I'll do something more obvious for you. A big and beautiful trick that I know you're all going to see. Check out this next move. Look at that. Yeah. Wow. Now, for obvious reasons, that trick's called the marriage. You get it? Part two is really tough. After the marriage, that's the divorce. Oh. Guys, come on. Woo. I am going to go for it. Start off 
I would. I think that we should. We should invite up uh, a member of the nobility. Someone of the nobility. Yes. Uh, who? Uh, a countess. A countess. A countess who is going to sing for us a delightful, lovely, pretty Irish song. Lords and ladies, oh, countess. These Carpathian songs. Oh, even better. I, I'm going to sing from down here because this thing eats my. Thing. Because you all have to help me. You see. The Irish try to tell everybody this is their song. No, this is old Carpathian folk tune from Highland Mountains where I come from. It's a story, sad story of a lovely little girl who lives with her family deep in the dark woods. May I have a key, please? Yes. Oh, wait, first you, I have to, you have to help, okay? I need you when I point you to sing this. It goes like this, it's very easy. Sing a rickety tickety tin. That was easy, okay? Ready? Of a young maid, I'll sing your song. Sing a rickety tickety tin. Of a young maid, I'll sing your song. She didn't have her family long. Not only did she do them wrong, she did every one of them in. Them in. She did every one of them in. One morning in a fit of peak, she drowned her father in the creek. The water tasted bad for a week. So we had to make do with gin, with gin. We had to make do with gin. Her mother, she could never stand. Her mother, she could never stand. And so a cyanide soup she planned. Her mother died with her spoon in her hand. Ah! And her face in this hideous grin, this grin. Her face in a hideous grin. Oh, yes. She weighted her brother down with stones. She weighted her brother down with stones and sent him off to David Jones. And all they ever found were some bones. And occasional pieces of skin, of skin, and occasional pieces of skin. <laughs> this is my favorite. One day when she had nothing to do, sing a rickety tickety tin. One day when she had nothing to do, she cut her baby brother in two. Then she served him up as an Irish stew. Yep. And invited the neighbors in, in and invited the neighbors in. And when at last the police came in, sing a rickety tickety tin. And when at last the police came in, her heinous crime she could not deny. For in doing so, she'd a heart to lie. And lion she knew was a sin, a sin. And lion she knew was a sin. Ladies and ladies, Countess Ariano. Now after that, Master Robin. Yes. Uh, I believe we have started off with a bit of music. Yes. But uh, I, you of course know that I believe in. in Mixing things up a bit. Yes, I do like a good melange. Yes, indeed. Nice, nice, slow. All right. So, so instead of doing another another musical act, uh, what do you think? Shall we do with a, a comedy act? I could Ooh. use a little bit of a laugh or a grey lady. Uh, like indeed, today. indeed, I believe so. And so, uh, what what sort of comedy act do we have here at Nottinghamshire? Uh, well, they're the two clowns on stage right now. <laughs> Speak for yourself, lad. <laughs> I get paid to be a clown. So, that being said, you know, I think we should invite up uh, some some well-educated, cultured comedians yes. in the Italian tradition. Why, you must only be speaking of comedian mania. Yes, no, 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 Nonsense. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, and today we thought we might shake things up a bit. But me madre said that if you shake it, 
it makes God cry. No, God, no, we are going to do uh, a suggestion from the audience of one of their favorite tragedies. Then, calm down! <laughs> with all of Canadian skill, with all of their training, with all of their gravitas, we'll butcher in just two minutes' time. And apparently there's a very passionate of mice and men out of the audience. <laughs> Are there any other suggestions from the audience? Oh, the the miracle the worker. Starship Troopers! The, the miracle, miracle worker! worker. Oh, yeah. Wow, well, I don't think there's anything else we can go out better on a high note than offending a lot of people. <laughs> so, Comedia Media presents The Miracle of, of Mice and Men <laughs> by Comedia Media. Yes. Once upon a time, in a land of Sepia, everything was very old, and everyone was really sad. More sad. The saddest. It was a Great Depression. Thank you. Shut up. It's a long day. There were two friends. One was very simple, and for some sad reason, the other one was blind and deaf. And they had a dog. They had a dog with no legs. <laughs> and no legs! You can call it anything you want because you knew it wouldn't come to you. <laughs> there you go, there you go. Alright. And this sad journey continued without the dog because it didn't have any legs. Aww. And it died of starvation. Aww. Remember to adopt. Message. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, dogs need homes too. And they finally found their way to a farm. Oh, look, George at the farm. <laughs> <laughs> and there was a fountain. Oh, and he, look, it's a fountain. Whoa, whoa. George how to communicate. <laughs> one, one, zero, one. <laughs> and it was a very sad union. And then they met a farmer who invited them to stay there and work. Come on and stay here and work for me. And they worked on a rabbit farm. And there were rabbits. <laughs> George because he had never met anything like this. So he grabbed one of the fuzzies and they touched it together. And it was weird and everyone gasped. Until they pet it so hard that it died like a Kardashian. Alright, and they had to run away because they were being chased by dogs and men. George did the only sensible thing for a blind deaf person. He blamed it on his friend. <laughs> and he started telling him a story in zeros and ones about how Letty was gonna tend the rabbit. Look at the wawa! Look at the wawa! So I think one of those acts should be the drenched wedges. Yeah. I think the second one, um, it is it is of course summertime. Yes. So <laughs> summertime is very Yes? Yes! Who is this? It's Itty Bitty Spider! Yes! It's Itty Bitty Spider! 
Carolina, do it along with me, all right? We'll teach these girls something a little more, um, Please. wholesome. Yeah. 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 Wait, yeah. Why would Salonga glance at me? <laughs> wholesome. <laughs> all right. Are we ready? Yeah. yeah. Right. We're starting to do the thing. Yes. All right. Itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Then out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I think I know exactly the three lovely ladies in question. You have a threesome in mind then? Indeed I do. Woo! Lords and ladies, the Graces! Shire in a merchant store. 
this has been a grand day. That's right. It, it has been a grand weekend. It has been a grand three weeks. Yes, you and patrons been... that stayed, you defeated the weather itself. I oh, yeah. 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 There has been so much that I think at this point there is only one person I know of with the gravitas. Yes. With the grace. Yes. With the majesty. Yes. With the beauty. Yes. With the yes. childbearing hips to yes. be able to come on to this stage. And that would be our beloved monarch. Eleanor of Aquitaine, the Queen Mother of Iran. Boston! Thank you, dears. I will call my son up, though. He does have very nice hips, doesn't he? <laughs> Who can tell under this? <laughs> I know. I do it for the same reason. There's just a little too much of everything. All right, dear. I'll hand it to you. Call forth the villagers of Nottingham! In the words of the immortal Shakespeare, the cast outnumbers the audience. The cast outnumbers the audience. So the do that day. Boy, that was joyless. I am, I don't have to clean this. Yeah, we missed you yesterday. I was there at seven like I was supposed to be. <laughs> Stupid. Ready to squeeze blood from the stone? Oh, yes. Two shall we? Please. One, two, three, ho! Festival next year, so keep your eyes on the KTR website for dates and times. And until then, Merry Meet, Merry Heart, and Merry Meet again to the gates. Good people, make your final voices. Come, Sally, end of the day. Merge 
Sun sinks low in the sky.